गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग शिवानी Good morning, ma'am. Wishing you a pleasant morning, class twelve, and welcome to this session, morning online session. I hope you are all feeling good and happy that God has given us another day to. to live our life full throttle also to take care of people around us in case they need us with that note we begin our this uh, this uh, second round of oral project today thursday i had already shared with you long back and i think last time also the class fizzled away couldn't couldn't do it because of some clashes i almost thought that even today again we may, we may not be able to meet because of that last minute meeting was scheduled and then very late at night it got postponed so i'm sorry that uh, i disturbed you a little late at night quite late at night rather because just 5 minutes before i had got the message that the meeting has been postponed for some reason so therefore i had to send you an update i thought morning at least you will know that we'll have the class so the uh, somebody chat the topic that we decided for today that we decided to have a talk today could somebody chat it or somebody could even speak it out one of you can chat it and one of you can speak it out please ma'am the topic is said is this an advantages of online school all right that thank you so much uh, i think that was the ashika yes so uh, could you chat it also so that you know it will stay there for everyone everybody can keep looking at it those of you those of them are entering now so you can do that please so we we, we had to talk about uh, and this is something i thought i would love to hear from you all because you are the first generation in india at least who are absolutely exposed to online classroom school right on online classrooms and on online school you uh, you know your uh, generation will be remembered in the times to come you know it is like in the history books it will be registered that 2020 all the students who were there in 2020 studied their class 12 absolutely online and uh, they appeared uh, for their various assignments and they submitted their works all online and uh, you know you 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 already made you are already a part of history you've already been a part of history whenever down the ages people will uh, read history they will uh, they will definitely know that uh, this is what happened in year 2020 and uh, many of you can even that time give interviews that how it was live if it was us so therefore i thought why not hear from you uh, and use this topic that what do you think by now you are so so exposed to all the negatives and all the positives that we have been able to take out of this online classroom sessions so uh, i hope uh, you are all ready with one uh, drawback one something which is as an advantage of online classroom i repeat the topic is not uh, online teaching okay online education system or online uh, teaching now that's a little bigger topic so we are not venturing into that but it's more about your online classroom as class 12 students when the schools are closed and you are 
uh, attending classes online what are the advantages that you feel you are able to make use of i'm repeating the topic so that you will, we will not deviate from the topic deviation from the topic again will cause a problem and uh, number 2 what are the advantages uh, i'll take one more minute before giving the mic to you all number 1 not only is this an oral session definitely it is an oral session today i'm going to mark you and you all can also keep giving marks to each other number 1 number 2 this is also discursive composition i'm also taking up discursive composition discursive or reflective composition is the one in which we write both the sides of the proposition argumentative composition is one when we are uh, supposed to take only one stand very clear neat clean hard stand we are for the proposition or we are against the pro pro uh, proposition against the proposal against the topic so that's a little tough call and uh, i think i've already taken a practice on that with you i don't remember whether i've done it with 12b or not so we'll have another session sometime later Uh, however this is discursive so once we discuss this keep collecting these points also because so many points will come out and it will do you good that you can collect these points you can keep taking screenshots and we'll put it in our language groups both 12b and 12a so that once we are through with this topic you will be penning down discursive composition and you will know how to write a discursive composition so do keep collecting all the fors on one side and keep collecting all the against on the other side keep your register with you so that you can keep recording you can keep uh, writing down every uh, every point which different people will bring up for for and then write down all the points which children will bring out for against and then once we have collected these points then i will take talk in little more detail about how to go about discursive composition which is one of the styles in your question 1 so i hope you understand we are trying to hit two targets with one arrow we have one arrow so we are going to use this classroom not only for oral uh, markings of your board project but also to practice for discursive composition so i hope the aim of our session is very clear there are dual aims here and i hope you will all do well all right so do we have uh, adarsh pathak here absent all right uh, do we have aditi here aditi Akshat is here with us. No. Alok is with us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Alok, your turn. What is it that you find? advantages what is it that you have found good interesting helpful in online classrooms that are happening now in your life and then what is it that you find a problem or or some a disadvantage yes alok one point we just need one point. ma'am i think that uh, it is lack i mean in online classes there is lack of discipline explain keep on talking it's your turn to talk you explain out to all of us you know whatever is the point in your mind ma'am and advantages are that Uh, we can study from home and 
Are you through? Are you over with your talk? All right, I'll give you a sample. As we start our oral session, this is very formal. This is a very formal oral, because this is oral project, which is going to uh, give you 20 good solid marks. All right, so we need to be a little more formal and I think today I'll be probably exposing you to this so that, uh, like I said, we'll have so many sessions, so we'll pick up the best marks. It's not that you score less today, doesn't matter, because maybe in another session, because it will be a cumulative, you know, it will be a compound and a cumulative uh, marks that I will be giving you. It won't be depending on any one session. It will be cumulatives of so many, an average of a lot of sessions. So it will be very formal. It's like, Good morning, my dear friends. I am here uh, online and I'll be talking about and one point which I find in favor of the proposition of the online classrooms going on. And then I'll be presenting my view, which I find as a disadvantage in these online classrooms that are available to us as of now in the pandemic session. So friends, I feel, and then you go on, and then you talk about whatever you have to say. And once you're finished, then you'll say, thank you. Uh, this was Alok, this was Alini sharing uh, the views with you all. So it will have to be a little formal setup so that uh, we we'll try and practice this today. And I think uh, that's how it will go. Alok, you want to try it again or... Uh, or should I now take up somebody else? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, one more advantage of the online classes that it offers location independence. Okay. Students, wherever they are, they can study from their home and they don't need to go to school. All right. So keep noting now, whatever point, you know, anybody speaks, you know, say Alok is speaking. Now, once you have spoken, chat your points, okay? In three words. Your points should come only as three words, you know, like you said, location independence. So it should come as a point, location independence. And it can be expanded by uh, people or others on their own. Already you would have expanded your point. So talk about your point and expand it, you know, talk about it for one minute for against and one minute for. So that's how your time limit goes. You want to explain something more about location independence, uh, Alok? Yes, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. Tell us in detail what is in your mind when you say location independence. Ma'am, it oh. means and, that... And, and, and we are talking in your context, okay? We are not talking about the world. When I say your, I don't mean alone, classroom. It is all about you. And we are talking in the context of Ingraham. All right. Our discussion today is context of you and Ingraham. We are not talking about in general what's happening in the world. I hope you got that. So the context is you and, and actually the classroom which are being taken now with you as Ingraham students. So that is the topic, that is the context. And you and whoever will speak will be speaking to the whole class, not to me. I am one of you. All right, so today it's you and you talk to friends, you know, my dear friends. So we address everyone. You needn't say ma'am, you talk to your friends. All right, if Alok is over with it, is Arpit with us? Yes, Arpit, your turn on the mic, sir. 
and alok in the meantime you can chat your points okay put down your points oh, two three words of negative and positive arpit please uh, switch on the mic if you see i'll have to give a zero if the child is not responding that will be very painful for you and for me both so please come on the mic switch on the mic and uh, speak out something which you find good in all these online classes that are going on and tell us something which you find is not good in this online something which is missing something which you're not finding good uh, in these online classrooms arpit Arjun is with us. Abhinav is with us. Abhinav from Twelve. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. The mic is all yours, sir. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Avina Shrivastava of Class Twelfth A. Today, I am here to present my views about online classes. online classes uh, can help the student to flourish the best online learning combines elements in which students can go at their own pace are set up to think deeply and critically about subjects matter with the elements in which students go online at the same time to interact with other students their teachers and the content however there are disadvantage to online classes uh, online classes many of us have to rethink their classes entirely and many are struggling under the increased workloads while learning new techniques it is important to realize that learning online classes is not a, as simple as uploading and delivering content security is also an important issue thank you all right that was wonderful i'm so happy that uh, you you could really hold on all of us for two minutes and uh, my request would be abina like i'm requesting everyone once you made your points orally please chat your points down okay so that we keep a written record also of that i now invite aman if aman is with us aman kumar from 12a Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aman Kumar of Class Twelfth A, and I would like to share my views on online classes. Like, I would uh, say some disadvantages of it. Like, uh, some students are not having smartphones uh, with them. They are having their parents' smartphone, which uh, their parents used to take to the, uh, with them to the work. and they are unable uh, to join the online classes and they are unable to also via the smartphones because the rate of smartphones are nowadays increasing day by day because of by the boycotting the china's products and uh, this led to the very high increasing in um, the rate of smartphones and that's why Uh, they are unable to join the online classes because of uh, their parents uh, work uh, they they taking the smartphones to, uh, and also some advantages of also uh, of online classes that uh, it provides student with uh, new technologies it uh, introduce students in a new gen that's all ma'am thank you that was wonderful i'll request you to chat down both your points uh, wonderful points uh, uh, in the chat huh? so that we can record them wonderful i now invite miss anushka sharma on the mic if she's present with us anushka sharma i 
see she's not here with us. I take this opportunity to invite Mr. Garvit on the mic. I now invite Mr. Garvit on the mic. I hope I'm audible. Good morning, all of you. This is Garvit here of class 11th. I am here to discuss some advantage and disadvantage of online classes. First, I will start with the advantage. As we all know, as we all know, students are can fight in our uh, usually real school. Which are which is not possible in the virtual classes, so that there is no not any fighting between the student physically. Uh, and one, uh, and one disadvantage is. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, and one of the disadvantage is that uh, there is no extracurricular activities on the virtual classes. Uh, students are only studying and studying, which make their studies boring. Uh, but in the real real school, there is some extra activities or tournaments so that they can refresh the students' mind and improve their other skills also, but is not in the virtual school. Thank you so much, Karve. That was so lovely to hear how we have some problems also in the online class and very well brought out. And I'll request you to chat them down, uh, chat your points down. Uh, now on the mic, uh, we will hear what Hildia has to say. Your turn, Hildia. your turn please be ready we are going roll number wise in any case Hena? so you can be ready and watch out for the next person hey dear i hope you am audible to you yeah and keep giving marks to your own friends Hirdia, I am waiting for a response from you because I can see you, but you're not picking picking it up. All right, so I'm sorry, I'll have to give a zero there. Absent and not picking up the mic, they both mean the same, zero. If you're absent, then it's a zero. If we don't pick up the mic, then it's also a zero. All right, so this is what my parameters are. I next now invite Kirti. Kirti on the mic, please. Good morning, everyone. Let me start by telling you a bit about myself. Myself, Kirti Chaudhary from class 12A. And I would like to, uh, I would like to discuss about uh, today about online classes. Uh, my subjects are mainly the advantages and disadvantages of online classes. So let me talk about firstly on uh, advantages. Online classes proves to be a great alternative. Students have the chance to study in their own time and especially with full interaction with the teachers. It represents a great way to study and boost up the level of self-motivation. Online classes is so effective because students can finish their homework quickly me and submit on uh, submit it on any by any source like WhatsApp or Google Classroom. 
the disadvantages of online class is mainly it is very time consuming some students get the difficulty of connecting with their uh, low internet bandwidth network and uh, uh, join with join the class thank you all thank you so much kirti what i do not see in the chat is the points i i am yet to see the points being written down by each outgoing participant i said that each of you please chat down the point which you have spoken about and you needn't write the whole thing you have to just write down uh, two words to try and uh, form this is uh, uh, i think what we'll do is i think we'll not give compliments to each other i think i think we'll change we'll change the chat because otherwise it's getting overloaded with the uh, you know i think yes that's that's good aman i i like that number one unavailability of smartphone wonderful and in the same you can write down two uh one a put it as one a a would mean advantage one d would mean disadvantage so all of you need to put down one a one d i think we'll do away with the compliments as of now because then that will eat away all the space and we will miss out on the points because we will need these points just now to write our discursive assignment for which the date would be today last okay i'm going to create an assignment i may not make it today as the last date i may give you one more day tomorrow but then you will need all these points to submit your discursive assignment by tomorrow so this is a very ready work going on so one a and one yeah so one uh, very good aman i think i like that format and i think this is the way all of you need to put down arpit i just read your uh, uh, your uh, chat you said my voice did not reach you all right i'll give you another time i'll call out your name again right after some time so we now move on and may i have the pleasure to invite parth on the mic please here's the situation you wake up in the morning look at the clock it's 9 am adrenaline triggers and you run downstairs frustrated someone had put off the alarm clock and now you were late for school realization struck it's lockdown no school you halt all of a sudden the grind fades away what about school actually what about your studies is one academic year going to be wasted just like that no as long as online schooling is there to the rescue good morning everyone this is parth sharma live from my room in my home telling you about some disadvantages and advantages of online school so when a flowing river meets a boulder it does not stop it carves a new way for itself and i think that online schooling has paved that new path for us to walk on it has enabled us to remain dynamic and consistent in our studies and work even in such a condition as this pandemic you know something is always better than nothing and this something is actually very good it is flexible and convenient as we are in the comfort of our home warm and safe that is i think the idea be behind the process being able to communicate while being safe so i think online school has conveniently helped us to come out of those initial 15 or something days of lockdown when we were not doing anything but just wondering what about school i feel that one major disadvantage of online school would be uh, that there's this lack of transparency uh, between the teachers and students i believe that teachers have one superpower that they can see right through a student however thick a layer of makeup we may put up but they'll be able to penetrate it with just their eyes so in classroom teaching a student could not possibly let his attention waver while under the radar of teacher's sight or let alone in that environment of what we call a school this would result in him actually learning something want it or not whereas in online medium this uh, chance is lost under the pretense of uh, the mute and video off options of course the teacher would still know each and every student that well as she would while in on while in live schooling 
but still i feel that live interaction beats online school uh, in this pretext that is online school is not able to provide that environment of study to a children thank you thank you so much pa that was lovely uh, it was lovely to hear both the versions and uh, uh, i would now request you to put it down in the chat and i think yes i am loving that chat now this is coming out so wonderful so crisp you know the way you're putting it as 1a and 1d and i'll request any one of you to keep taking the shots so that the uh, screenshots is uh, well 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 uh, don't misread me i meant screen shots all right so uh, just keep taking those screen shots and uh, keep, we uh, keep, we'll put it down in the in our groups as i said 12b and 12a both the groups so that it will help us to construct our discursive composition that's wonderful and i'm so sorry mayank i need to apologize i think my eyes overlooked i don't know this eyes my eyes played you know to and to me and i'm sorry after kirti it should have been you mayank and so now i invite mayank on the mic good morning ma'am uh, now i would like to talk about the online classes and its disadvantages and advantages today online classes is more and more practice in many traditional universities as well as in school colleges etc uh, there is uh, it seems to be a very uh, useful technique for or in such a uh, pandemic which is going on uh, uh, and most of the students were also be able to uh, take the class uh, which are not having enough money to take real courses and classes uh, uh, and it also provide uh, useful knowledge uh, in online class which gives us a self motivation and confidence um, now i would like to talk about the disadvantages uh, most of the students uh, does not take online class uh, due to uh, their uh, network issues and uh, in uh, real classes uh, the student know how to uh, cooperate and interact with friends uh, teachers and get rid of disappointment so um, there is um, there is a limitation to a uh, online class also thank you thank you maya and uh, once we finish you know let us know that you're through you can just say a thank you that would be all so or you can say thank you those were my those were my uh, points or those were the thoughts that i had to present so that's how we can end our small speech and you're doing wonderfully well and i'm enjoying this morning session such a lot but here my uh, you know my screen board tells me that we are running out of time and i do not know i don't think so we are left with any much time so rather than you know putting somebody through an embarrassment of a half talk i go through it all the time you know i am talking and then it the zoom says shut up and i have to shut up so i go through this embarrassment every day and i kind of now have got used to being told to shut up you know in between and uh, trail away my voice in a second so but i won't i won't put you to this embarrassment now so i think we'll resume our session in uh, the second time we'll be meeting again at 11 yes tanishka that's right so uh, that's how i have decided that for these two classes you know we'll give time so i'll we'll see you again at 11 and you're all doing wonderful one small advice i'm sure i'll be cut off by this zoom any minute however please divide your page into two parts okay a word of advice please divide your page into two parts once one side you should be writing a advantages on the other side you should be recording disadvantages because i'll be seeing your work also that all advantages as 1 2 3 4 you can write down on one side and disadvantages on the other side and if you want you can even write down when you write the advantage point now like uh, you're writing lack of transparency suppose so you can even if you want you can write on part you know so you'll remember who said which point and it will be something 
maybe after 10 years when you look at your register you can always show it to your friend you know look 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 this is what i have of you so this is just something that you can do uh, for each other uh, remembering that who said which point but divide the page into two parts draw a line in between like we write write you know properties you know physical and chemical properties in the same way we are writing advantages and disadvantages half the page we divide and uh, for the next session we'll meet at 11 i also have a class now so i just need a little nature's call break so i sign off now we'll meet again at 11 thank you please take the screenshots once thank again you. i remind i'm already done done thank you thank you i know i know <laughs> uh, but however i still said it